on this episode of Lapeef Let's Talk. This woman yeah, here with the glasses on, fellas. Gentlemen, gentlemen oh, here, and here, women, here, and here. women. Period. This woman here with the glasses on is the prototypical issue that's wrong with the black community today. <laughs> No. They, they they are very Here's much the so let's pause they are me, very much a reflection of the thing that we don't we want raising our sons and our daughters fam don't let them don't let them around your sons don't, don't let them around your daughters <laughs> don't let them don't let them infect them that's why i put my mask on because it's like i don't don't want care, none of that getting into me, bro. i don't want none of that getting into me i, I need to protect myself <laughs> and i don't want that junk coming through my screen man that junk is is nasty Moving on to our third topic, and I think this is a good topic, especially coming off this energy that we just had. What's that? These women need help. These women need help. Look at Josh. You laughing. You already know they need help, don't you? Man. It's okay, Josh. Josh, Josh is trying it's to okay, figure Josh. Out. We got your back. We got Josh your back. trying to figure out which side of the fence he want to be on on this particular subject. We're going to figure it out, though. I mean, just, the thing is, honestly, they don't want it. Like, they might need it. They could need it. They don't want it, though. So, I mean, I don't Josh, know. Josh, I'm starting to see a pattern, bro. Like, the first half of the show, you riding the bench. You decide that you don't, you don't want to, you don't want to fully convert over. You fighting it, and then by the second half of the show, you start pulling up from half court. What's going on, bro? <laughs> Man, I guess I just come through when I'm in the clutch, man. I don't know, man. Jesus something. Christ, bro. Man, I'm yeah. starting to see, like, so many different situations that are happening that I'm running into every day when it comes to why I feel and a lot of men feel that these women need help. You know, one of the things that came up is that a lot of these women are toxic and they do not realize that they are toxic. And the reason why I say this is because, you know, there are some women out there that feel as though when they enter a relationship, situation, whatever you want to call it, marriage, that the man is supposed to resolve the issues that they have within themselves. And a lot of women do not even realize what they are doing, the energy that they are putting out. So whenever, you, whenever somebody speaks on it or speaks about it, then they're the problem. It's like they're insecure about this toxic behavior. And that's just a little, little segment about why these women need help. I'm going to come to you, Josh. Why do these women need help? Because they're not getting the outcomes that they want. That's the main thing. I mean, to be perfectly honest. Hold I mean, on real quick. Tawana, you okay over there? I just want to check in. I don't need, I'm just listening to this foolishness. I believe, but go ahead. Okay. okay. Take some notes. You know, take some notes. Uh, you know, Tiara, no, if no. not for yourself, then I'm pretty sure you might have a friend that might need these notes. Go ahead, Josh. Uh, yeah, I mean, and I and, and like I apologize, brother, because this is some valuable information. Go ahead. Yeah, they're not. Um, they're not. They're not. Um, they're not being told the information. They're not getting the outcomes that they want, and they're not listening to the information that's being given. The thing is, is that with a lot of information given, you know, to women, it's about validating. It's about, you know, uh, uh, you know, massaging their self-esteem. Every woman's beautiful. Every, you know, every woman's a 10. Everybody's valuable. Like that's, you know, men don't necessarily move that way. So, you know, we living in a world where guys are pretty much measured in every way. If somebody asks you what kind of car you drive, they're measuring you. If somebody asks you where you went to school, they're measuring you. If somebody asks you what you do for a living, they're measuring you. And these are all things that men are measured on, you know, and and, and you might not have a one or 10 scale, but you know that a, a engineer is a is a higher rate than, you know, somebody that, you know, is uh, working at Walmart. So with that being said, um, it's just, you know, the thing is there, there's no information that tells them, man, you know what? You may need to do something different. Everything is cool. Everything goes. It's like, whatever you choose is cool. Anton, I thought it was very important that the guys should go first on this so that the women can take notes. And again, I'm not speaking to the women in on the panel in particular, but just 
the women I in am. general. I mm. am. All right, Anton. I'm coming to you. These women need help. Elaborate on that. They too far gone. Like you got to start with a whole new, you know, fresh batch, fresh crop. You got to raise them from birth to be a certain type of way. Because a lot of times when you're talking about adults, adults are stuck in their ways. So the only way to really solve for a lot of the issues, and we're going to define the issues really quickly. They're, they've been validated with their bad behavior from a lot of different guys that actually feel as though they can get some browning points or they weak they self. And so they attach themselves to the weaker vessel, which generally tends to be the woman, right? But you have all of these different women that want to celebrate each other and enable each other instead of growth. And the thing that I always say to people on my own platforms and when I coach guys is that it's not about happiness. It's not about being happy. Stop chasing happiness. You should chase growth. And be, and the only way you can grow is to be uncomfortable. You got to get on the other side of being uncomfortable. You got to get on the other side of the thing that makes you feel good about yourself or people telling you things that make you feel good about yourself and get to the space where you actually can get, get the things that you need in order to become a better version of yourself. But when you see a lot of these women today, they've already been trained and conditioned, whether it be in university settings, whether it be people in their family, how they was raised, the people that they surround themselves with. If you look in the mirror or you really want to know who you are, all you got to do is look at the people you surround yourself with the most. Most of the time, you're a reflection of the people that you spend the most of your time with. And so what they'll say is, don't shame me. They use these keywords on a lot of these platforms like triggered or all of this other type of stuff in order to try to silence you or prevent you from being able to actually give them the game that they need so that they can improve and grow in a way that they do. So one of two things generally happen. Either A, they continue to be how they are, they don't get married, or if they do get married, they have to settle for somebody that's not necessarily ideal for what it is that they're looking for in their lifestyle, right? They settle and they can get a man, but it doesn't mean that that's the best man that they can, you know, the best man that's available. They A, or they settle, settle. B, they either die alone, they become the cat lady, or C, they wind up suffering enough to realize that, yo, this is not what I want, or they mess with enough trash to where at some point before it's too late, they start to get themselves together and they subject themselves to somebody that can actually add value to their life. But in the most parts, especially women that's probably beyond 30 at this point, most of them are too far gone. They, they, yeah, they subscribe yeah. to a feminist movement they no longer align themselves with traditional values that actually can help help foster the best circumstance for both them and their families. And then this is the result of it. You see less women being married, more women becoming baby mamas. And then you see men that validate this behavior. And because there's more men than there are women, you're going to see women that say, well, I got a man, but you don't have the best man. And that's, and that's really what it comes down to. Some of them you can't help. Occasionally, you find a diamond in a rough that's willing to do the work, but it takes too much. And for men like me, that's actually dope and phenomenal. We not willing to waste our time and spend our time beating down it, beating a dead horse. It's a it's yeah. a waste of time, bro. Yeah, I think what's crazy is that you have a lot of women out here that are in a, I say thirty five and up, with no kids, and they out here still trying to figure it out. It's a reason why they don't have any kids, and it's a reason why they're single. And they carry that same energy that the problem is that they can't they can't build up with nobody. They spent all their time trying to be independent, trying to fight these battles, trying to tell everybody else, you know, how it's going to be done. When the whole time they needed some work a long time ago. So I'm coming to the women. I know you guys agree with Anton and Josh and myself. So I think this is going to be a quick conversation. Go with you, Tawana. These women need help. Your thoughts. I'm so happy I only heard bits and pieces of that because I was having technical issues. Because what? The, yeah, the parts that I did hear, I was like, is this a serious conversation? Like, are we are we really being serious right now? Because I hey, just, these I women need help, Tawana. Like, I can't for the life of me rationalize this. And I'm gonna tell you what women who are not clear about who they are are the women who need your help. That, that's oh, exactly really? It. Yeah, the women who don't know who they are, who are questioning, who have doubts, who 
you know, don't know how to embrace their feminine energy, that don't know, that didn't learn how to be a woman. Those are the women who you target. And those are the women who y'all speak to because you can't clearly be speaking to a woman who got her sense and know what the hell she she got going on in life. Like there, there's no way. There's no way. In the world. And I don't honestly, care. And honestly, when I hear some of the women who comment in the comments, I'm like, oh yeah, that's exactly who they speaking to. Women who have no, like who have absolutely no sense of who they are, have no sense of direction, no confidence in this world and can't get a man, like you said, 35 and probably will never be in a relationship. And yeah, you can put your caps on, but let me tell you something. I'll get married five times before some of these women get married once. Okay. Because I'm always going to be valued to a man. So I, I'm a reflection in my real I'll life. Say it again, Tawana. I'm always going to be of value to a man. I am what? a reflection in my real life. Okay. So therefore, you guys can continue to be single and criticize and do all that shit, but still, you at home by what? yourself. And you always going to be at home by yourself. But this is how it is. Most men, let me just put this out here. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming for the fire today because I'm so tired of some of these women and some of these men. Y'all what? Y'all driving me crazy. Most men don't even understand women's nature. Period. They criticize something something like Anton criticize women for being an, uh, emotional when emotional is our nature. You know, we're nurturing, we're emotional, but we get criticized for it, which makes absolutely no sense. And women, we like to feel security. Any threat to our security is basically just a man that we just we won't be able to connect with. And that could be any man. You know, people like Jay Quan, who got all these little nasty ass comments, that kind of man, you know, he's a threat to my security. So therefore, he's also, a, you know, he, he's not a man that I would eat in, in give any respect. He's to. a beta. Right? He's a he's definitely a man that I would never respect. Right. And there's. Oh, men, really? Yeah. Oh, really? Very, very much so. And then there's men that I will always show respect to because they demonstrate a level of confidence, a level of security, a level of dominance that I respect in John like Josh. Yeah, Josh, I respect him. I mean, I talk about like his talk, but I, I won't disrespect him. You know, <laughs> they are, you know, Anton, I, I don't disrespect you guys, but you know, there is some instances where, you know, you cross the line, you know, I'm going to cross that line right on over there. You know, you, you stay on your side. I'm going to stay on mine. You want to be the dominant. You, you know, I, I'm, I'm good. Look, I like dominant. I like confident men. I like men who got who can offer that that level of security and make you feel like you're secure, you're protected. But I'm definitely not going to tolerate no disrespectful beta men on this show degrading me for whatever reason. And and then their little women who's learned that same behavior who think they can come on this show and say anything about me either. No, like y'all don't get no respect for me. I'll get married five times before y'all get married once. OK, because men always going to see the value in me and never. in you. That's right. So let me just let, let me just go there. I'm just done with this conversation. It was so pointless to me, but I don't believe that women need help. They should not be listening to men who are broken, who don't have a sense of security, who don't know how to manage their own families, who don't know how to run their own lives, telling them how to run their life. A man who don't demonstrate what they do in their own life. I'm a reflection of what I want in my life. You need to be a reflection. If you're going to tell me how to do things and how to live my life, you should be a reflection of what I think a man demonstrates. And it's not a lot of them. So when I wasn't speaking particularly about yourself, I was just speaking like, well, like, speak like about, yeah, well, about women in general. I mean, I know you, I, I I know you see it. I mean, even my perspective, I mean, even, my perspective. you okay. speaking from your perspective, you all talking about women y'all dealt with and interacted with in your past because you can't be talking about every woman in the world. Okay. You talking about to, the women I'm, you deal with, right? Hey, Tierra, I mean, hopefully you can save us. Uh, we can't <laughs> keep telling these women that everything is okay. These women need help. You agree? Your thoughts? I agree. Be honest. I agree. I would say that women do need help. I would say that the help that women need is not from men. <laughs> and it's usually not from the men that think that they should help. Somebody mentioned Kevin Samuels in the chat, and I was like, mm -hmm. Kevin Samuels can help <laughs> so us. So, my. Um, what? One of my platforms is called Deaf to Fuck Boys. And 
it's about helping women navigating navigate through like dating and do trauma and their and do their like past trauma. So the title is very clickbaity. Baby, it sounds like it's just about men, but it's really about the men that we choose, that we decide to spend our time with. If you are with the man that doesn't find value in you, you chose that man. So therefore, choose differently and also like unpack like who taught you the definition of love, who taught you how to choose. Maybe no one taught you how to choose. And and maybe no one taught you that you have the right to choose because you a baby mama, you are this or that. Somebody in comments was like a baby mama at best. Like, boy, shut the fuck up. Um, Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so, yeah, do, I would say that the, the society needs help. I would say the, the yeah. current dating terrain for men and women, if we're going to get more specific, black men and black women, is real scarce out here. And it's not because people are not available, but it's because... Tierra, we're we talking them. about these women need help. We're talking about the women. We're not talking about the people they choose. Some of these but women, the we're not talking about say, all women. Some of these women need help. help. And, and you as a woman, I think you need to be honest with these women. She's a reflection if, of the thing I just described, bro. If, She's the exact thing I just described. man is my counterpart and I need help, right? What does if the man have to do with the woman help. needing help? Yes, the man has nothing to do with that. Like woman, through this, save us. What like, do we have to save need help See, look, Right, I, I agree. You have to say you guys have to say yourselves. But the, I think the the first thing is the woman has to admit. I think you have to admit that some of these women need help. Absolutely. What no, do they can't, need? Help uh, we can't leave. What What did I miss? Because I guess I missed something. What do we need? I help would say specifically from my point of view, women need help developing their self esteem. How are you going to coach work? somebody and you're not even successful in a relationship? You're not even married. I thought she said she was married. You said you was married? Yeah, she is married. I thought are you said you she wasn't married. She is married. She is married. He, don't, he has selective hearing, Tawana. He hears what he wants to she hear. Is, no, my bad, my bad. I, you, you said you was married to a beta. That's what I heard. No, I, didn't, I didn't say that either. I said that first. You want me That's to what say I'm that. You want me to say that? You don't have to say it. I clearly know it because no dude, are you no man in his right mind. Or is the mother of your child a baby mama? What's interesting is they say, they criticize you for not being married. But then when you are married, then they start attacking your man. Because I don't know. I don't understand. He would never date me. I wasn't on his level. So now your man ain't going to we going to let these women that want to continue me. to talk and hear themselves finish. And then we're going to go ahead and continue to. I'm going yeah, I'm to let y'all know. I'm going to show y'all what's really wrong with them. Go ahead. I mean, we we on, a, we on a man hating. We on a woman hating platform. So, you know, of course, we go. Like it was class. like little rascals, like the men hating, women hating. They are. Men's club. All right, Tiara. Like the, no, these women need help. Is she done yet? Do women need help? Absolutely. Is a man like Anton the person to help them? He should probably focus on the man like he's been doing. And kudos to that. I actually agree with a lot of things you said earlier, Anton. And I've kind of felt like how I feel when I listen to Kevin Samuels, when I hear like a lot of good points that is kind of like mixed in to yeah. just, just, just some language that doesn't really help women, though. So, yes, women need help <laughs> from other women. All right, so they done. All right, cool. All right, so this is the problem, bro. This is this is the exact same exact thing. Audience, I want y'all to really pay attention and realize what's going on here. You see a lot of finger wagging, dream snatching, all of this, head going back and forth, emotional conversation, with a not a real not a lot of substance that's coming from it. Emotional. They don't even, they from don't the even look at them. You see him. You see him over talking me again. You see him over talking. This is emotion right here. Over talking. So what? Again. No, so what? So because, what? Because, because, and this is this is the thing, fellas. So what? The truth hurts, and so what happens is when you start to emphasize something. A woman that, like that, you. That, that, look at her. Look at single. her. Look I'm at her. This one right here. A woman like you must be This one. This one right here. Look at this one. You don't know what you're talking about. Look at her. This Look at the one with the glasses. About. All right, so like I was saying, like this, this is exactly this is exactly the thing that happens when they can't strengthen their argument 
they talk over you. They strengthen their voices. They don't let you get a sentence out. They react to everything you say emotionally. They snatch dreams they out the air. They react to what Look at her. Look incorrect. at her. Yeah, baby. Look you are her. incorrect. Just say Look you are incorrect and that you heard me wrong because you weren't listening They're, to my talk. This is my thing, fellas. No, they don't never listen. What I'm emphasizing to you guys. Never. Take into consideration everything that I just said. And she is a lost cause. You're wasting your time. If you're coming to the table and having conversations with women like this, it's a waste of time. They you not for you, bro. Are wasting your time if they you not for you. They not even worth the conversation. And not say nothing. Extend your conversations time. with people that actually is conducive to what it is that you're trying to do. Alpha. Because they not wait. Any dude that's dealing with this is a beta. No woman <laughs> will ever talk like this in my presence. Never have, never will. And you know it to be true, Tawana. It's not happening. <laughs> never. I nobody, would say that woman nobody, is really a beta. nobody would say that to my man face ever, ever. I would <laughs> oh, it'll say be that a woman problem. is probably just a beta. It, it'll be a she problem. Feels, she probably feels special to be chosen by you, Anton. And kudos to her. Let's just get that clear. I don't care. I'm, 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 I'm you know, I'm gonna say this. I don't have. I no, wish I, I would let any of these people validate who I am. And if you're a woman and you need validation for them, you are not clear about who you are. This woman Therefore, here with the glasses on, fellas. Out. Gentlemen, gentlemen oh, and, and women, dope, and too. women. Period. This woman here with the glasses on is the prototypical issue that's wrong with the black community today. <laughs> they, they, they are very <laughs> much, so let's pause they are here. very much a reflection of the thing that we don't we want raising our sons and our daughters, fam. Don't, don't let them, don't let them around your sons. Don't let them around your daughters. <laughs> don't let them, don't let them infect them. That's why I put my mask on because it's like, I don't Go want ahead, none of that getting into me, bro. Put the I don't want none of that getting into me. I, I need to protect myself. Jesus, and I don't want that junk coming through my screen, man. That junk is, is nasty. It's this nasty conversation. The black community. You have tried. You have tried every low blow to discredit me since I've been on the show. And the only thing I said was that you're you discredited you. The things that you say is not in support of women. I don't see how you can actually love a woman. I see that you probably tolerate women, but I don't see how you could actually love a woman with the type of shit that you say. That's a great observation. I like that. No, it's not Tawana. You know it's not. You're just trying to make her. You know you're trying to make her feel good about herself. Silent. I don't do that. I'm, I'm being true. my reaction. Listen, cat, now, cat lady, cat lady, you are no, on no, that island was, by that yourself. Was not, that Tawana was not. is not your ally. You got a bad kid in the background that's climbing on chairs and stuff. You ain't got no structure in your household. I'm looking at her right now. Did you call her baby bad? And all yeah, he's climbing on the furniture. Women and that wear in the baby mama. You don't see I that wish, kid climbing on the furniture in the back? I wish I could mute you. I cannot mute you. Look at him. He's jumping people. around. That you talking about? He's That's jumping around mean. in the background. That was probably like the not cool kid who learned Wait, wait, wait. Turn around and get him together, please, I, before right. you go on. I that was you. All right, y'all. Because you're not even <laughs> going to call her a cat lady when Josh is the one that had the cat. You see how that it, that don't even make Josh a too. To cats. <laughs> I got you know, I got smoke for everybody. Josh is not an exception to the rule. The point <laughs> is, is that Josh well, how are we going to take somebody Who's serious that can't even get somebody their, balanced You don't even have no structure <laughs> in your own house. <laughs> Josh, I have to bring you back in the conversation because you did have a cat. And he called her a cat lady. And I don't understand how he can mix that up. Pierre, you, you going to mute yourself and get your house in order before we continue the show? <laughs> so listen, I mean, you know, I like people like Sarah Lena. I don't know if you 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 listen to her. Rebecca what? Hope. I, like, I like people like that. They do empower women to think differently, like, about their you know the way they approach life the way they approach relationships you know the taking accountability for the things that they've done wrong like i agree with all of that i think that that all is important and do i think that women need to get better in relationships yeah do we do we need to approach that differently do we need to select better of course of course but do i think that you should allow someone to tell you who you are, beat you down and make you feel like you're less than based on the way they see you and see life. No, I absolutely don't think that gives women any power, any like level of existence. I'm just telling you that women need to think differently. And like Tiara said, 
maybe we don't need to, we need to be intentional about who the people who are helping us because men like, and like, like Anton, like Kevin, they might not be the best resource when it comes to learning these skills and learning the things that you need to know as a woman in order to be in a successful relationship. I would, and, and I would say the only amendment is that if you want a man like Kevin, if you want a man like Anton, absolutely listen to them because they're going to they gonna lace you on how to get a man like them. And in that case, then you should listen. I feel like Kevin. But y'all not listening to the men y'all like. Yeah, oh, that's the thing. Chicks are listening to the men that they like. Let's just be real. But, but you, you know, know that's, 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 women, that's women overall. You know, we don't listen to everything y'all say because women, we have discernment. We know when we should listen to y'all and when y'all should. Just like men, women are women, not children. We know. Like, you we know. Which one listen to, just like we men. know. We know exactly what a man, when a man is telling you the right things and when a man is telling you some bullshit. We know how to do it just like y'all tune us out. We tune y'all out too. We do the same. Exactly. You don't even. How, yo, yo, yo. How are you gonna self-diagnose? <laughs> like that's that's like having a dope fiend go go in and tell the doctor that they're not addicted. Like you don't know how to fix yourself. And if you was, then you would. Like if you did, you wouldn't be on dope in the first place. You can't self-diagnose. It's a reason why some you have to you have to subject yourself to somebody else, whether it be a doctor, whether it be a therapist whether it be somebody that's going to give you some insight to help you improve who you are. But if you're so busy being you're combative, the women, the women. If, you're if, you're talking so, about the women who, if you're so busy know. being combative and you're listening to respond instead of listening to understand, you'll never get anywhere. And that's why at some point, I just women say, don't well, listen to men who are who are disrespectful. At some point, you don't I listen just, to listen at some either, point, time. Yeah, at some what point, should I say? Listen, at some point, this ain't, for, just, this ain't the platform I'm on. Y'all ain't my man. I don't gotta listen to y'all. I love that I can take out my aggression on you, mother. I've been listening. <laughs> I love that I can take my aggression out on y'all because at some I'm point, motherfucking man, I can. At cut some point, out. you just realize that <laughs> you gotta move on. And you got to make sure that you align yourself with people that actually want the game, not the people that's trying to combat you and actually is a bad reflection of the community in itself. Do your thing, JR.